the catfish booming was around 1990s. Before, uh, they look at uh, fish farming as a, something like culture or tradition. But later, people look at the fish farming as a business or as enterprise. Fish farming is my mother business. I have been coming to the farm with my mother when I was young, when I was very small. When I graduated from university, and I started my own business. I can make a good living out of the eat. It's giving me money at least to sustain myself and my family. I have about two people working under me. They will come early in the morning, they will hunt the pumping machine. They have to give the fish oxygen to open their appetite so that they will be able to consume enough feed in the afternoon. Uh, this business has been getting the experience since when I was in school. Buy and sell it. Over 25 years that Ama was in this business. When we go farm to go and buy this catfish, we carry the fish, enter my compound. We pour the fish inside the pond so that the fish will not go die. Because if it die, it's no good. After we cut it, we remove all the dirty. We start to apply it for the oval. When it born, we carry and go market. People come there and buy the goods for us. Most of the farmers, they are using uh, fuel wood uh, to smoke their fish. So we want to see how we are, uh, we are going to introduce a technology to have a more efficient and uh, healthy product. The sale this moment is very poor. The problem the marketers is giving us is, you know, if there is low demand and there is much supply, definitely the market will drop. And we're not breaking even at the moment because there is a huge increment in the price of feed. Uh, we learn to understand that uh, there is skyrocketing uh, raise in cost of feed, uh, in some instances, uh, raise in more than 100%. So we want to have a kind of feed credit scheme. We want to look at the utilization of alternative feed ingredients and so on. If you can intervene in the feed, uh, definitely you are encouraging the farmer uh, to produce. Uh, the output will increase, then the cost of production will reduce. The customer uh, at the end of the day will buy fish at a relatively cheap price and uh, it will improve the economy of the nation. And now we're trying to advocate to tell people that catfish is not for only rich people, it's for everybody. So the more they consume, so there will be more demand. The importance of catfish uh, as a food uh, cannot be overemphasized because it's the cheapest unit protein source in Nigeria. So uh, almost every household, if you go, they can be able to afford. We're trying to see something we can do to reduce the cost of production. When we talk about the solar, we're trying to go into processing as well. Maybe we shouldn't be selling live alone. We have diversified uh, our marketing strategy. I like agriculture business. It's a very good business that can, that gives someone uh, a very bright future. And it makes you give back to the society because you're feeding the nation. Basically, uh, the objective uh, of this project is to contribute to the employment and nutrition and food security in the country. Without no capital, no business. That is the major challenge. When I get capital, my slaughter is going to use machine. The equipment that I'm going to use for the work and the capital, that's the most thing that I like for the business. If all those things ready, business will go. go. <laughs>